Yannick Sinner versus Grigor Dimitrov. It's the second quarter final for the men's French Open for 2024. And both guys have had similar rows to get to this stage. Dimitrov headed to the tournament as a number 10 seed and will take on Kovacevic in the first round. But this is no problem getting to him in straights. 6 4, 6 3, 6 4. In the second round, he'll take on Marajan. And again, no problem for Dimitrov getting to him in straights. 6 love, 6 3, 6 4. Third round, he'll take on the qualifier Burge. And after a rain delay, they would come back the second day with Dimitrov fighting through in four. 6 3, 7 6, 4 6, 6 4. Fourth round, he'll take on Hercatch, number 8 seed. A man that he'd played many times times before and had never lost to. And after a close couple of sets, Dimitrov would eventually win in straights. 7 6 6 4 7 6 to advance to the quarterfinals. Sinner into the tournament as the number two seed. We'll take on Eubanks in the first round. This is no problem getting through in straights. 6 3 6 3 6 4. In the second round, he'd take on the wildcard Gasquet. And again, no problem for Sinner getting through in straights. 6 4 6 2 6 4. In the third round, he'd take on Kotov, who'd taken out Nori and Vavrinka along the way. And again, no problem for Sinner getting through in straights. 6 4 6 4 6 4. In the fourth round, he'd take on Mute, who'd beaten the informed Jarry to get to this stage. And this was a circus. After Sinner dropped the first set, he would have to fight back to win 2 6 6 3 6 2 6 1 to advance to the quarterfinals. These guys have played four times before, with Sinner leading 3 1 in their head to head, including their recent meeting in the Miami final, which happened back in March. Sinner getting the easy win there. However, their only clay court meeting was won by Dimitrov back in 2020. I know that's a long time ago and Sinner's totally different, but still, the confidence on clay has got to be there a little bit for Dimitrov in that one. If Dimitrov's going to win this one. He's going to do what he did against her catch serve well, mix it up, and really come to the net and try and push Sinner around. He was terrible against Sinner in that Miami final. He was just sort of on the other side of the net, just standing there watching the whole time. Really didn't do much to be competitive. So he needs to be really aggressive and serve well, come to the net, do all those things that he's really capable of doing on the clay and on every surface. Sinner's going to win this one. He's just going to have to play like he has been playing. I mean, no one's really been able to trouble him except for Mute with his kind of random ground strokes and his random game drop shots and the crowd on his side. That's the only thing that has troubled Sinner. And the crowd might be on Dimitrov's side, but Dimitrov doesn't have that unpredictability that Mute does. Also being left-handed probably helped as well. So Sinner just has to do what he's done over the last couple of matches. Also use the confidence of that Miami final to beat Dimitrov. Interesting matchup. Uh, we'll see how it goes with Dimi. It's going to be a tough one. Of course, Sinner's in such great form, but I've got to go with Sinner in this one. I think in four sets. I'll give Dimitrov a set. Maybe he wins the second or third sets, but I think Sinner's going to get this one done pretty convincingly in the end, but let me know down in the comments below who's making the semis.